Hello, Dinky Do, it's just me, Scotty McClure, and we are, of course, live on the big one, Facebook Live. Welcome, 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 I say, to the Sunday night show. I hope you are well, and I find you well, and you are having a fabulous time, and you're ready to do some big business tonight, because we have a lot to get through, and so little time to do it in. Just getting the lighting right, as usual. There we go, excellent stuff, and very, very good to be with you. Now, what a fantastic week it's been, guys. There's been so much happening, and we've only got an hour to talk tonight, so I hope you're going to be talking to me as quickly as possible. Daryl McMillan, didn't you do? Lovely to have you with us. Jim Siobhan, and uh, Daryl says, how are you? I am fine, Daryl. I am fantastic. Lovely, lovely, lovely to have you with us tonight. Now, I've hopefully sorted out a little bit more lighting than we had before, so I will just keep experimenting. Can you see that? Uh, a little bit more there on the face. So we'll just keep experimenting until we get it right. Fantastic stuff. Now then, obviously a little bit darker because I'm still speaking from a secret location which I can't reveal too much to you. Good evening, Scotty. Dinky do, says Andy McClurry. Dinky do to you. A shout out for Mrs. Kirsty McCarthy, says Thomas Stout. No problem at all. Hello, sir, says Joseph Gibbons. Hello to you, Joseph. Lovely to have you with us. And Dinky do. Good evening, Scotty. Dinky do. Excellent. Lovely to be with you guys. Let me know how your week's gone. Good evening, Scotty. This is Charles McLaughlin. Lovely to have you with us as well. A little bit of housekeeping as well. Scotty, I won't be watching. I'm watching the Flying Scotsman. Uh, Gary Anderson at the darts. No problem at all. We don't mind if you prefer the darts. So there you are. Brian Kessick and Colin Roger. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Scotty McClue Show. How amazing is this I cannot believe we're up in the hundreds with the show now and uh, two and a half million of you have seen the Scotty McClure show so let's make tonight an absolute belter uh, so there we are watch both says John Adams responding yes Dino the dog dinky do where's your secret hideout if I told you Dino it wouldn't be a secret do you know what I'm saying to you um, hello Scotty how are you tonight says Brian dinky do what's the agenda tonight says Derek Kloss so much on the agenda tonight Derek Kloss are you familiar with Govan Govern Hill in Glasgow says Joseph Gibbons I think you mean Govan Hill and it's all one word G-O-V-A-N H-I-W L, of course I am. Hello, says Ian Hills. Good evening. Hope you're okay, says Angela Goodlett. Angela, I'm absolutely fine. I'm just broadcasting from a secret location where I cannot divulge at the moment. That's why the background is a bit dark. We do have some lighting. Um, hello, says Liz Boy. Dinky do Liz. Good evening, Scotty, says Stephen Menzies with us tonight. Excellent. Only one show to watch, Scotty, and that's the Scotty McClure one. Of course you are. Hello, Scotty boy. The best thing that happened to the radio. Power to you. So there you are. I shall be back on the radio at some point, guys. Trust me on that one. Michael McGuire is watching. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Mark Gippert, you've not lost your touch. And hopefully, I've not lost mine either. So there you go. 26 years of the Scotty McClure shows. How amazing is that? And a lot more to come, I can tell you. So there we are. I've been listening to one or two top radio stations, and they're really just not getting it, are they? So there you are. They need to uh, get McClure in there and get some things talked. Um, so that would be excellent. Now then, uh, come and join us. Charlie Morris is watching. A wave to you, Charlie. Uh, Jackie Cahoon, Dinky Do, Laura Fletcher, Helena Innes, Dinky Do, a wonderful lady there, superb lady, a lady I'm uh, missing her chat at the moment. A highly intelligent lady, John Graham, Dinky Do, Dal McMillan. You heard Still Game is making one more series says Dal McMillan, well, well, I wouldn't mind getting on to that. Just a little cameo roll. Scotty McClure walking into the Klansman and saying to them all, uh, you know, things like, um, right, I'll tell you, Bobby, what I'm having. And for my friends here on either side of me, 
Nothing! So there we go. And Charlie Morrison, thank you, dear. Good evening, pal. Hope you're going to be Ken's Thomas Hamilton. I did, Thomas. Thank you very much for asking. Why aren't you on real radio? Uh, before we fat Bob to go for six Ian Hills. There we are. I was uh, on Scott FM. Yes, I was uh, before we fat Bob. So there you are. Uh, watching you live in sunny Dubai. Still fantastic. Got the Arabs watching. Boss D and J. David Lafferty. Dinky do to Dubai, I say. And to all our Arabs brothers and sisters in Dubai. Dinky do from Scotty McClure. I think I'll come to Dubai and see you all. But I'll just say Dubai just now. So there we are, fantastic stuff. Gordon Roddix watching, one of our top broadcasters. Good evening, Scotty Dinky Do. Have a good show, says William Birch. I'll do my best, William. Now, for those of you who haven't seen Paul Sefton, Dinky Do, Paul Sefton. For those of you who haven't seen, I've been teaching the world the piano. Now, it only lasts for seven minutes. You'll see it on the Facebook page. Uh, dog sitting for two weeks, Scotty King Charles. Spoiled, rotten, the David Rendell. A wee King Charles Cavalier Spaniel. Lovely lovely great characters and is the Blenheim not part of that King Charles breed a Blenheim Spaniel do tell me because I'm not as up on Spaniels as I am on Labradors as you can see my tie was a Christmas present from my own Labrador Lord Clyde fantastic Scott is the man says Gordon Kate Gordon Lovely to have you with us. Is it Kate or Kate, I ask you? And uh, guys, thank you so much for all your sharing over the piece. Have you heard Eddie Mayo's moving on? Do you know the dog I have? I congratulated Eddie. One of our finest broadcasts. I uh, often listen to PM. Uh, when I'm coming home in the car, if I manage to get myself home at five o'clock, I listen to PM on BBC Radio 4, an outstanding program. And of course, Eddie Mayer, an outstanding broadcaster. So I wish Eddie all the best at LBC. And uh, I said when I was talking to them at LBC, um, you know, that uh, if they're looking for a small one in there, just let me know. Uh, Fraser McDuff, Dinky Do. Good evening, Mr. McClure. Dinky Do sauce is David Negus. Fantastic stuff, David Negus. Uh, need to go. Going to work, says Daryl McMillan. Excellent, Daryl. You push off to work, and we shall carry on with the show in your absence, if that should be okay with you. Dinky Do. I like your tie, pal, says Thomas Hamilton. Thank you, Thomas. It was a Christmas present from my Labrador, Lord Clyde. There we are, Lord Wreath has passed away some time now, a good uh, 12 years. Scotty here, dinky do, Paul Sefton, even Scotty. Hope Paul's good with you. Quaite, says Gordon. Gordon Quaite, as in Kuwait, almost. Gordon Kuwait, fantastic, lovely. Mimi Scotty, love your stuff, says Thomas Stephen Farley. Yes, if you would all like to learn to play the piano, then I did seven minutes last night. Now that should get you going. So you are now all pianists. Okay. Daryl's having a good life there. Dinky do now. No problem. Uh, JP McCarran, lovely to have you with us, of course, and Dinky do. And Dave Humphrey is watching. Dinky do to you. You're all watching around the world. Now do tell me where you're watching globally. All right. Sorry, I'm late, Scotty. I get held up at the new bridge says Sandy Howden. Yes, you would do, Sandy, because it's so popular. It's a Scottish bridge paid for by our Scottish government, by us via our Scottish government. So everybody wants to see it and everybody wants to cross it. Tremendous stuff. Scotty, you should start your own radio station, says Scott O'Hare. Well, there we are. I did do, but we had stewardship problems with a member of the management, and that was very, very sadly and unfortunately the end of that particular venture about 10 years ago. So there you are. But I may well start another radio station or run the broadcasting for somebody. If you're watching right now and you're looking for somebody to run all your television and radio, Give us a shout, and uh, we'll see what's what. Good evening, Sir Scotty, from Bournemouth. How marvellous is that? Uh, good evening from Grangemouth in central Scotland. All the mouths tonight. Scotty McClue, Bournemouth, Grangemouth, North Lanarkshire, Wishaw, Wishy. There we are. I went to Peebles uh, yesterday, well, the day before, and uh, I took the back road 
and uh, I was going to go via Wishy, but I went via Lanark. Is that the best route to Peebles from Gleska? I ask you. Uh, I think the dinky do is a Rangers fan, says Gordon Quaid. Now, Gordon, I don't take sides. Uh, the road bridge is not Scottish. So, Sandy, well, it is, of course, it's been there. Uh, you're spot on, Scotty, the Blenheim King Charles Spaniel. Hi, Scotty, this is Saffron D. Thomas. Thank you, Saffron D. Thomas, in America and the United States there. Lovely to have you with us. Lovely to be with all of you globally, guys. You're watching the World's Talk broadcaster and the first lord of the internet, Scotty McClure, saying dinky do to every single one of you. Sunday night, of course, nothing gets past me. Have you ever stayed in a haunted house, Scotty? Oh, I've lived in them for years, Dino. Excellent stuff. D. Gurley's watching dinky do, Nick. Jane from Manswood, marvellous Manswood in central Scotland. Stephen Wearmouth's watching and Dee Gourley, lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Doo from me, Scotty McClure. I'm still in the middle of a heat wave, so I will boil over during the programme and I would need to have some personal care, but that's not a problem. Are we too dark, I ask you? Should I start mucking about with the lights? Uh, let's just see what we can do here. See if we can get a wee bit more light on the McClure. Is that any better, guys? So there we go. A little bit more lights on the McClure. Saying dinky do to every single one of you. And this one down here. I'll see if I can bring this one over a bit. Because um, there's quite a bit of light in it as well. Um, a lot of the time we're down to the old LEDs now, guys. They are watching from Port Glasgow, says Paul Sefton. I've just done a YouTube on Port Glasgow, dinky do, Excellent stuff. Hi, Stephen, says D. Gurley. Hi, D. And dinky do. So, Scotty, the Brexit campaign found to have broken the law. Should the result be void? I think they need to cancel that Brexit with immediate effect. Rescind Article 50, apologise to the EU for any confusion. Uh, can you tell Charlene to click the kettle in for me since she's in the kitchen, says Christopher Love. Charlene, if you're in the kitchen, Christopher would like a wee cup of tea. Stephen Burrows watching. Hi, Scotty. How are you giving, says Ryan William Rear. Excellent, Ryan William Rear. Lovely to talk to you. Are you in the secret location again, says John P. Hazelton. I am, John. I am in the secret location. But I can say there are a lot of meetings going on, and Scotty McClure should be back with all of you very soon. Uh, from Campus Nathan, the home of the famous Alexander Brothers. I remember the Alexander Brothers, and somebody told me they were originally decorators. Is that right? It looks like a nuclear bunker, says Mark Gipper. Mark, you might think that I could not possibly comment, but we know that McClure is very, very important to the future of the world. Uh, Nottingham in the house. Good evening, sir, says Patrick Parra Collins in Nottingham. Good old McClure stamping ground, Nottingham. Tremendous stuff. The Midlands. McClure is massive in the Midlands. It's time to finish with referendum, Scotty. So, Sandy, I, no, not yet, Sandy. We haven't had the right answer. We've only had two referenda, and uh, both of them have gone a bit pear-shaped. So, uh, not time to finish at all. Time to start with referendums. Unless you're saying, Sandy, that we shouldn't go ahead with democracy. Now, I posted this week, is it time to return to absolute monarchy? That means we scrap Parliament. Ronnie Stevenson says, McClure, how do you do? Are you missing me? Ronnie Stevenson, I am always missing you. Your advice, your information, your wise counsel, your ability on fishing and angling, something McClure knows virtually nothing about. So there we are. If, uh, if you knew nothing about anything, I would know marginally less. Ronnie Stevenson, welcome, welcome, welcome. Guys, if you've just joined me, a very warm welcome on a very hot summer's evening to the Scotty McClue Show, live on Facebook Live. This is the big one. The one everyone's watching, the one everyone's talking about. Another couple of thousand of you uh, this week as well. I reckon McClue's locked in a Tory bunker in the Palace of Westminster. McClue's the new guy Fox. No, I am not, but what I was saying is, should we uh, put Parliament on hold because it's failing the people at the moment and put the Queen in charge of everything?
So there you go. Fantastic. Excuse me. A little bit of personal care. A little bit of a mop down. You'll see my face is a wee bitty shiny sometimes on air. I don't have my makeup man. It's not in tonight. Totally agree, Scotty, but we must respect the referendum. Or what's the point? Well, the only thing is, the point is, Sandy, the EU referendum was Duff Jen. And to a certain extent, the Scottish referendum was Duff Jen because you'd um, ex-Prime Ministers and ex-Chancellors coming up making speeches and just talking a lot of bunkum, really, to be quite honest at the time, trying to frighten people that old folk might lose their pension. That makes two of us. I know nothing about fishing either, says Ronnie. Ronnie, stop it. You're an expert. Uh, Scotty, Parliament has always failed the people. It's, uh, it's something about always failed its people, only richer people who are more corrupt. So Stephen Wearmouth, I don't know about richer people being corrupt. Not all rich people are corrupt, Stephen Wearmouth. So they are Michael McGuigan. It's people that are wanting to be rich that tend to be corrupt. That's where your problem lies. The Queen in charge every time, says Steve Burroughs. Quite right, Steve. So we're talking about in 1688... When uh, King William came over, William of Orange came over for the what they called the Glorious Revolution. William and Mary came over from Holland. And um, that was the end of absolute monarchy and the start of constitutional monarchy. So in other words, Parliament called the shots. But uh, no, no, Scotty, I'm not tarrying them all with the same breath, says Stephen. I hope not, Stephen. So Parliament called the shots now. Parliament is not doing terribly well at the moment, I think you'll agree. So perhaps we should put it all back into the Queen's hands and she runs the show. So she drops the apolitical thing and she takes charge of the country. Because the monarch used to be very heavily involved in politics. Ian hey, Scotty, how are you, sir? Says Ian Buck. Fabulous, Ian. Thank you very, very much for asking. Very much appreciated. You're watching Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster and the first lord of the internet. Every election you get told nothing but lies anyway, says Ronnie Stevenson. Yes, I think we were told particular lies about the EU referendum. I actually voted leave because I thought it would help the National Health Service. How silly am I, Mr. Naive? Woo! There we are. Why do we call it the Queen's Shilling? I heard it's our shilling, not hers. No Dean of the Dug. The Queen's Shilling was when the uh, press gangs for the army came into the pub, popped a shilling into your pint, and when you drank it, you had taken the Queen's shilling. Her head was on the shilling, and you were then a member of the armed forces. Press ganging for the Navy. So they are. That's why it's called the Queen's shilling. That's why you'll see some of these old pewter tankards with a glass bottom on them. Because uh, people could lift up their pint and say, aye, aye, there's a shilling in here. I'm not touching that. I don't want to be in the army. How's it going, mate? Love your feeds. Me and my family, says John Paul Warlow, tuning in. Me, Brian, Stephanie and Kelly. Can we get a shout out, lol? John Paul Warlow. Of course, Warren Low. John Paul Warlow. You and Brian, Stephanie and Kelly can all get a shout out from Scott McClue globally on Facebook Live. Jim Johnson's watching. Thank you, Jim. Lovely to have you with us. Come and join us, I say. You're very, very welcome. Brilliant, Scotty, on the shilling. You never fail to amaze. Oh, Sandy Howden, you never fail to amaze. You're a highly intelligent man. That's why you need to get your act together politically and dump all that crowd that are wandering about in the in the wilderness. Uh, good evening, sir, from East Coast Bride Taxi Owners Association, James Barra, one of our uh, wonderful Taxi Owners Association people, and, of course, a great promotion of top-class entertainment. So there we go. David Lee Weir is watching now. Let's have some feedback. Would you turn up to an evening with me? Would you turn up to an evening with Scotty McClure live to hear some of my chit-chat and ask me a few questions? 
Would you do that? Let's know. Uh, David Lee here, Dinky Doo. Daniel Trainer, how are we? And uh, Dean of the Doug, I prefer 80 shilling. There are well, no advertising of the booze on here, Dean of the Doug. Uh, Alistair Livingston, Dinky Doo, a wave to you, I say from me, Scotty McClue. Now, what is the time, guys? Can we see? I do have it beside me because we're not meeting the network here. I don't meet the news at 10 o'clock so I can take my time and enjoy talking to every single one of you. Quick flash here. It's uh, 20 past 9, just after 22 minutes past 9. Brexit referendums, bin the lots, all a lot of nonsense. MPs polishing their egos. Not one of them have lived like normal people. They're just surviving. I personally think all of them see more. I can't see more because I lost a broadcast once. Yes! says Charles McLaughlin. Yes, to what, Charles McLaughlin? Scott is the top man, says Thomas Hamilton. Can we all share, please? Bonjour. Free Bonnie Montrose after a wee tour of HMS Montrose, which is visiting the town. Great day. So there you are. Only I got my photo taken. A lifelong ambition. Bring back national service, Scotty, says Stephen. Uh, either the armed services or college or you need to learn a trade. Professions. Serve the country. Or the community. So there we are. Yes, I would, pal, says Thomas. Oh, yes, you'd come to an evening with Scotty McClue. Fantastic. You can ask me questions or a wee bit nonsense. Give you a tune on the piano, all that sort of stuff. An evening with Scotty McClue. What a daft question. Of course, says Steve Burrows. But where would we hold this evening with Scotty McClure? Ned McMillan's watching Dinky Near Dead. Lovely to have you with us. You're watching Scotty McClure and we're live on the big one. Can we share, please? Share, 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 share. Uh, Thomas Hamilton, I've done it, pal. Thank you, Thomas. Can everybody else share Scotty McClure? Let everybody know that we're broadcasting live. A lot of entertainment coming up in East Kilbride. Check out my new business on Facebook, WAGA Promotion, W-A-G-G-A. -G -G -A. Sounds like a bit of tail wagging from the dog. WAGA Promotion, James Barr does, and he's got lots of dates in East Kilbride. So if you're after entertainment in the East Kilbride area, WAGA Promotion. Have you ever met the great Billy Connolly Scotty? Neil, I haven't. Billy was in America when I was doing my stuff. So there you are. And I know he had a house up in the north of Scotland. A, a big house. I don't know if he's still got it. A big castle. Where's your dapper university photo, Scott and Sandy Howden? Sandy Howden, I'm broadcasting from a secret location which can't be discussed. So I'm not in McClure Towers. Hold it in the Klansman, says Dino the Doug. The Klansman. A Scotty McClure night in the Klansman. Should Scotty McClure be on BBC Scotland? It will have to be a big place, says Steve Burrows. Well, yes, I mean, I think we should invite people from all over the world. It is Scotty, says James Bower. Fantastic. Song Johnny Cope, Scotty. Yes. Hey, Johnny Cope, are you walking yet? Or are your drums a beaten yet? So there we are. If you are walking, I will wait to meet Johnny Cope in the morning. So there you go. And Johnny Cope. Cope sent a message, Fred Dunbar, saying, Charlie, meet me if you door, and I'll show you an act of war if you'll meet Johnny Cope in the morning. General Sir John Cope and Bonnie Prince Charlie meeting at the Battle of Preston Pans, was it, or Dunbar? Which one are we talking about? Deborah Kim. Wagga comes from me, having three dogs. Excellent, James Barr. We'll go for Wagga if you're a dog man. I like that. Sharice Allison Dinky Doo. Lovely to have you with us, Sharice. Through in the Langton of Kirkcuddy. Kirkcuddy, Ken. Scotty, what's your game plan with the broadcast, buddy? What we're doing is we're just keeping up the presence because a guy on a speech radio station said, very kind of throwaway line. If you've anything recent, Scotty, by all means send it to me. I said, what about last night? So there you go. Where am I getting my photo taken with you, Scotty? Sandy Howden, you can get your photo taken with me any time in the salt are there. Awaiting an East Bride and audience with Scotty McCree. It was the Pans, Sir David Randall, the Battle of Preston Pans, General Sir John Cope, and Bonnie Prince Charlie. Bonnie Prince Charlie 
Hi, Ken. Ken, 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 how you doing, pal, Ken? Ken, shall we sign? Hey, bother. Scruffy, are you doing a show on the secret bunker? Yes, is the answer, but if I discussed it, it wouldn't be a secret. So that's where we're doing the show. Davy Mortimer's watching. Dinky Doo, Davy, lovely to have you with us. PJ Curry is watching as well. Dinky Doo, PJ. Uh, come and join us live, I say. You're watching Scotty McClue. We're on the big one. Time for another share. Coming up to share point, and can I have some hearts? Paul Kyra is watching. Lovely to have you with us, Paul. Uh, where did I put? I'm sure I had a drink there. Um, the pots and pans. No, no, the Preston pans. Why can't the English pronounce Kirkcaldy properly? It's the dinner of the duck. Because I don't know if the BBC still have their pronunciation unit. When you could write stuff down in phonetics, and phonetics is an international language. Preston Pans. Hello, Scotty, how are you? I've had a pint in the Johnny Cope, says Sandy Howden. I've had one in the Bonnie Prince Charlie, Sandy, so I'll take you on head to head. And have you heard of the Brown Band's version of Dumbarton's Drums? Lovely. Dumbarton's Drums are also Bonnie. There we are. Have a Scotty McClure Q&A in George Square, says David Lee Weir. I would, because as you know, there's no side to me. Politically, I'm very neutral. I'm not a political person, but obviously Scotland would do very well as an independent country. Scotty, the secret bunker is in Fife. It's, it's around Fife, a wee bit further north. Scotty, just thought the old Bonnie Prince Charlie National Anthem was a bit about the Scottish battles removed, yet Flower of Scotland's all about Scotland winning. Well, yes, you see, they regarded the Jacobites as against the crown at the time. That was the big panic, you see. But uh, we must support the crown now. And a couple of people were knocking the Queen at some idiot saying he doesn't bow to the Queen and all that nonsense. And, um, you know, we bow to everyone out of respect. McClure bows to everyone. I've got some sun-blessed pans. I the pan in the plane. A uh, plane loaf, please. Thanks very much. Uh, we plane loaf. Yes, yes, yes. So there we are. Share, 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 share. Now, guys, share to your groups as well. And share to all your, your fans. You look like a fat Del Trotter, says Liam Bordwin. Well, no, I'm not actually that fat at all. I'm under height. If I was 12 foot 6, I would look superb. So there you are. So uh, I don't really, I'm not really fat. Um, this is all solid muscle. See? He solid. Look at that. Ha uh ha. -huh. Not a bit of movement. Solid muscle. Uh, Bobo Hocus Pocus says, Sharice, now Sharice, no swearing on here, I've told you. Watch your language. So there we go. And uh, I was obsessed with the hokey cokey. But uh, what I've done, I put my whole self in to the doctor and I've turned myself around. And that's what it's all about. Uh, not letting me share, says Sharice. Of course it is, Sharice. Stop, stop being silly. Just being silly now, dear. So there we are. If you've just joined us, then you're a bit late, shockingly, horribly and appallingly late. You're watching Scotty McClure, the world stop broadcaster and the first lord of the internet. And we are, of course, live on Facebook Live, the big one, the one everyone's watching, the one everyone's talking about, the new television. Where's Rodney? She's Liam Bournemouth. Oh, oh, down now. Don't start me, Liam. Oh, no income tax, no VAT. Uh, that's not swearing, says Sharice. Are you sure? So there you are. There seemed to be a wee bit of hocus pocus there. A wee bit of jiggery pokery. Scotty, please host radio shows again. They were legendary. But you are still a legend, says PJ Curry. I thank you, PJ. It's not unfortunately up to me who goes on the radio stations, but I suspect McClure will be back on the radio. Hi, Scotty. I've just tuned into you, Dinky Doo. Sean and Steph in Cowden Beath. Sean McCormick, Dinky Doo. I've told 10 to tell 10 and tell 10, and they told 11, says John P. Hazelton. Liam Boardman is laughing his head off. The wee thingy button's no there. Are your wee thingy button's there, Sharice? You're just not looking for it. I don't think there's a subject you're not able to debate on. I would hope not, for goodness sake. A shout out to Dan. 
Daniel White. Please, Scotty, says Roberto White, who's a very faithful viewer. The man with the bonnet done it, says Charlie Subaqueous. That's a great name. Are you the Subaqueouses for Cowden Beath? Excuse me. Just going to give myself a mop down. Oh, wee bit of personal care. That's better, I have to say. Hey, thank you, brother. Love from Glasgow, always. Says PJ Curry, not at all. Bow, bow to a house as a song. Come, Ben, and tell Ben to come, Ben, to come, Ben. So there we are. Michael McGuigan. And there you are. I can remember a new year. I'd had a light refreshment. And I was um, um, seeing somebody down the road, as you do. And I can remember saying, we'll get to, uh, we'll, we'll call into this house and get a first foot. And they were uh, a little bit the worse for wear. And they said, Ben the hoose. And I thought they were saying, I will go Ben the hoose. Ben the and I was knocking on the door of this house, but nobody was answering. Mind you, it was half two in the morning. However, they said, Ben the hoose. I said, well, we can't go Ben the hoose. Because no, no, it's the hen hoose. It was the hen house we were trying to first foot. Uh, we need a talk show on the radio instead of all this loud music. So Stephen Burroughs, I know, but I listened to one or two of the talk shows on the radio and the poor souls, they're no doing it right, if that makes any sense to you. They're for the audience, um, joining them, you know what I mean? Anyone got a spare piano? Do you know the dog? Have you been watching Scotty McClue teach you the piano? Seven minutes I spent recording last night. They are. My first foot was normally my foot tripping over the doorsteps is PJ. Absolutely PJ. Am I too close, guys? Are you getting too much of a sweat at my coupon? Uh, buckle your nuts, says Sherry Salas. Sherry, what have I told you? It's a family show, and I'm not nuts. So there you are. Oh, buckled. You're nuts. I see what you mean. Sorry, you, you haven't put any punctuation in there. Ian McCarty's watching. Dinky Dew Ian, lovely to have you with us. Come and join us. It's no recht, says Sharice. Well, it wasn't a recht. Scotty, I'm just back from Canterbury. Uh, a cycle to Scotland. Scotty, why do you think it's a good idea to stay in the European Union? Charles, I wasn't a great fan of the European Union when Heath took us into it because we lost all our big fishing fleets from Aberdeen and Arbroath and Montrose and Kirkcaldy and Oban and Tarbot and Ardrishig and Stornoway. Um, so there we are. But uh, there's a sun laugh of the right man quality. So I wasn't a great fan and the farmers, it was affecting the farmers and all that. But having said that, Europe has redeemed itself. Look at the quality of food we get. Look at the trade. Um, I got my passport the other day, and, uh, you know, you can go anywhere. It's a European Union passport. Fantastic. This country no longer can be anything on its Todd, and they're just making this. I mean, these guys... A lot of them are betting on the pound going up and down and making millions of pounds. They're just using us all for their own ends, guys. So, you know, careful, careful, careful. Caution, 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 I say, with Brexit. All right? Because it will end up in Scottish independence, in a united Ireland, and Mrs. May, if she's still about, will just be left with that wee bit round the city of Westminster, the city of London. John Lee is watching Dinky Doo. Come and join us, John Lee. And uh, let's have your comments, guys. There's so much. If you want me to answer questions and stuff, give us a shout. Not a problem. Have you ever tried lava bread? Uh, no, it flows too fast for me, Julianne Scott. Uh, you know, uh, but is that stone ground? So there you are. Language, please. Share, 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 says Sharice. Come on, Sharice, share. Sharing with Sharice. That could be a title or program. Sharing with Sharice. Sharing the program. Share, 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 share. You're watching Scotty McClure. If you're an alien life form from another planet, and you've never actually heard of me, I'll spell it for you. Capital S, small C, O, double T, I, E. That's the Scotty McClue, capital M, small C, capital C, L, U, E. Have you put something into PayPal? We need to export and import qualities for this country to survive. Of course we do, P.J. Curry. And the reason that Westminster does not want Scotland to go is we are the cash cow for the UK. I'm a really good psychic. I predict tomorrow will be Monday. 
Do you know the Doug? You're very, very good, you know, because I suspect you're correct. I come in peace, says PJ Curry. Of course you do. Uh, no, it's edible seaweed, says Julianne Scott. What is Julianne? What's edible seaweed? Edible seaweed from Wales. Uh, it's no letting me. The thing is no there. Sharice, you can share. Of course you can share. Yes, I have. I have. Sharice has shared. Here she's up. Good stuff. Sharing, Sharice. Sharing, Sharice. I said, share, 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 share. Share, 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 says Robert McHardy. They used to say that to you when you went into a certain shop. When you went into the court, they used to say, what's your share number? Uh, wonderful. Is it cash or club? <laughs> That's the stuff. Wonderful. Cash or your account, your share number. Fantastic. The co-op, wonderful idea. That's what you should be having. Stephen, you stop that, says Sharice. She's losing it with Stephen here. What's the time, guys? Let me check the time for sharing. Share, 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 share. Share, 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 share. Right. By my reckoning, we've got just over 20 minutes of this wonderful show left. Scotty, have you heard? Uh, I'm still having nightmares, says Steve Burrows. Are you? Well, I'll tell you, I had a dream one night, right? I had this dream that there was a horse in the bed beside me. And then I wakened in the morning and the horse had gone. It must have been a nightmare. Scotty, I have a wee place in France and the food is two and a half times the price for vegetables and meat and fruit. Les fruits, les légumes au marché. Oui, les prix for the price. Je regrette, mais ne, je ne parle pas français très vite, si tu parles lentement. Peut-être je comprends, oui. Oui, ça va, d'accord, oui. Oui, ça va, moi aussi. Je m'appelle Monsieur McClou. Je suis le professeur de euh, dimanche. Dimanche, oui. I am the Sunday teacher. This is getting serious, says uh, Cherise. What is getting serious, for goodness sake? You've never been serious in your puff. Uh, Calvin Allen's watching, didn't you do? He wants a wave. Scotty McClure, guys, on Facebook Live, the new television. This is the future. Mark my words. If the television companies don't start investing in Scotty McClure, then it's good night Vienna for the TV. A nightmare. There's lots of them about. I'll tell you. And um, I came in last night and I thought I shall just uh, change. So I slipped into something warm. I'm going to have a word with that cat. I'll Tell you. Right, Andy Hughes, nightmares. Yes, absolutely, the nightmares. Uh, Try the new Mary Poppins theme restaurant yesterday. Super cauliflower cheese, but the lobster was atrocious. <laughs> vu vu mouché. Oui, oui. You read mine wrong, Scotty. Stephen Burroughs. What have I read wrong? Put the right one in then, and I'll read it right. Meow! Ha ha! Says PJ. Yes, PJ. I'm not just um, a pretty face, you know. I uh, I do all that as well. I did give up comedy because people were just laughing at me all the time. And I thought, no, no, enough's enough. 940 pals, says Thomas Hamilton. Brilliant, Tom. So we've got 20 minutes, guys. Tremendous stuff. Now... Would you like to see the Queen in charge of the country? Serious question. Should we go back to absolute monarchy and give the politicians a rest? Just get the whole lot of them out there. And they can do up the Palace of Westminster and the Queen will be in charge. What's the chances of an autograph, Scotty? Says Scott Grant. Yes, we can do Scott. Uh, we can do that. If you want to email me your details, scotty at scotty com, and we'll see what we can get for you. Tony Mac's watching Dinky Do. Dinky Do, Tony Mac. How are you? Another great broadcaster. I hope you're working at the moment, Tony. Scotty Grant needed a bit of paper, pal. Why, where is he, Sharice? Is he in the wee hoose? Now, the TV companies need to be told, Scotty, whoever has McClure has the market. Gary Crossan, you're 100% correct. 
Whoever has McClure has the market. Now, there's a, a little teaching tape for you for the piano. If you don't like to play the piano, I spent seven minutes recording it last night. You do comedy well and also serious topics, Scotty. Scotty, to be knighted, Lord. Peter Curry, Sir Scotty McClure, although I do call to mind Burns' words, see yon belted knight, a man's a man for all that. So what have we learned tonight, kids, amongst other things, we're getting the Queen back, and Sharice wants to share it about, and buckle, says Stephen Wearmouth. Dinky do, says Tony Mac. Dinky do to you, lad. What's the best place you've ever been, Scotty? He's wanting an autograph. Oh, gosh, there's so many wonderful places. Went to Wishaw once, very nice. Uh, went down to the beach. Time for bed for me night, Scotty. This is Catherine Mully. Catherine, darling, lovely to have you with us, and I hope you're well and your dinky do. You get yourself off to Bobo's. And sleep well. So there you are. And God bless you, my darling. Lovely, lovely. Catherine's been with us for a long time. It's amazing the number of Scotty McClue fans out there. It runs into billions. Uh, hello, Sir Scotty, says Stephen Butmerdow. Stephen Butmerdow, dinky do. Uh, why is it no letting me share? Of course it's letting you share. Sharice, maybe you're all shared out. Maybe Facebook say, no, no, no. She's sharing and sharing and sharing too much. Excellent stuff. Can everybody share? Let's have another share. Come on. Share, 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 share. And see when the program is finished, guys. Spend the week sharing it. Anything with Scotty McClue on it, share, 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 share. Night, Catherine. TC Pals, she's night, Catherine. Love, sleep well. I locked myself out the house. I looked through the letterbox. I saw my cat and asked the cat to open the door. And the cat said, me, ow. <laughs> Must have been a cockney cat. Me, ow. Right, Loch Lomond. The most gorgeous use in Scotland, the wildlife as well. Yes, and the Clyde, Inverclyde. You'll see I put up Inverclyde. If you can all get on to Scotty McClure's Facebook, it's all there. It is isn't it, says Sharice. What's not, Sharice? Are you saying Loch Lomond isn't the most beautiful place in the world? What about the Lang Tun? It's Kirkcaldy, the most beautiful place in the world. Uh, Mrs. Mack uh, is in the huff. Any suggestions to get back in a good book, Scotty? Yes. Tell her she is the most beautiful woman in the world that you've ever actually married. So there you are. Uh, see, Scotty, you're sharing too much. I'm not sharing too much. Um, buckled, buckled, says Sherry. Sherry says buckled. Hello, Sherry, says Thomas Hamilton. Me, ah, oh, says Sherry. So there you are, Sherry. Are you a pussy cat, Sherry? I, I ask you. So there we are, Sherry, the pussy cat. Wonderful stuff. It's letting me share now. Good. Sharice has learned how to work her phone. This is an excellent thing. Quick uh, meltdown, guys. Wipe down. Melt down. Oh, my. Whoa. It's hot. Where I am at the moment in the bunker. It is absolutely roasting hot, guys. You can probably see it from my coupon, from having a swatch at my pus, just how hot it is. Another wee mop there. I don't understand it. We get a little bit wet here, beside where the moustache would be if I grew one. Scotty, the SNP are overriding the Supreme Court decision on the named person fiasco. Um, no, they can't do that. You can't override a Supreme Court, Sandy. So uh, don't have any more sherry. Apart from you, who would you have as the next Prime Minister, says Steve Burrows. Well, that's an interesting one. I think the First Minister of Scotland would make an excellent UK Prime Minister if we don't go for independence right away. Whether she would want the hassle, I don't know. You are, says Paul Lambie. I'm being serious. It isn't letting me share. Sharice. You've not got a serious bone in your body. Stop being silly. Right, Claire Flood's watching and Duncan Ling. Lovely to have you with us. It's Scotty McClure. It's Sunday night. Nothing gets past me. This is the big one. Now, guys, if you go onto the Scotty McClure website, www.scottyivanmcclure.com, you'll see on the title, you'll see a link to PayPal. If you can spare two or three quid, 
stick it in there because it all helps to grow the show, right? As you know, Scotty McClure has put hundreds of thousands of pounds into radio over the years. You seem as if you're in a cave, says Jav Salim. Well, Jav, you might not know how true that might be. Thanks, Scotty. The most beautiful place is Glasgow. So there you are. Do you get paid for this, says Paul Lambie? Of course I don't get paid, Paul Lambie, unless you were to stick a couple of pounds into my PayPal. Don't be silly. Who's going to be paying me at the moment? Mr. Facebook? Uh, the share to the left isn't there. I don't, I think you can see it, Sharice. You're maybe needing to get down to a well-known spectacle saving shop. Uh, Scotty, we're watching you on a 50 inch TV. You're looking great, says Charles McLaughlin. Now, Charles McLaughlin, tell me honestly, would you watch half an hour of the Scotty McClue show live on national television on a Friday night, say between 11 and 11.30? Would you watch this? on national television, interactive, fully interactive with the phones and the messages. The next Prime Minister and the future, Scotty, Tora Bora, uh, Cherie, share, 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 and the Scotty Club, love, love, loved you in the old days, Paul Lambie, loved you in the old days, sorry, says, dinky do, Paul Lambie, well, the new days are here, there's a new generation of Scotty McLean fans, and off we jolly well go. I'll take some of the beef off me and get the old slim look back. You'll see me wearing the kilt on uh, there. It isn't. I've been to, and she mentions a well-known spectacle-saving shop, says Sharice Allison. So have I, Sharice Allison. In fact, they're about somewhere. See if you like these. I'll not be able to see anything put them on because they're for far sight. Do you like these? Ho ho! How's that? McClue in the glasses. They're steaming up with the heat. Um, so there we go. And uh, excellent stuff. But we need to be interactive. We need to get the calls coming in. And we're working on that. So there you are. Um, not uh, Nicola Sturgeon, Scotty, dear me, says uh, Stephen Weymouth. You don't want Nicola as the United Kingdom Prime Minister. Well, it's all opinion, but she would do a fantastic job. She's done a wonderful job for Scotland. I wouldn't miss it, Scotty. So Charles McLaughlin. So there you are. I think one of the big television companies, ITV, Sky, the BBC, should put on the Scotty McClure show for half an hour on a Friday night. Try it out. I'll do a deal with all of you guys. If it doesn't work and you don't want to see me, I'll understand. But if we get a big, big audience, then there we go. If they brought back late call, you could present that, Scotty, says Dino the dog. Da 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 dee 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 dee. Hello. What kind of day have you all had? Because I've had quite a day. And I'd like to say the message from people much bigger than you and me, is look to the future and learn. Good night, everybody. And God bless you. May your God bless you. Would that do as a late call? Do you like that? Do you remember late call? Nicola gets my vote, says Louise Sullivan, one of the country's top broadcasters. Dinky do, Louise. Uh, I listen to you for 15 hours a week when you're on Scott FM. So Charles McLaughlin, no, but would you watch this big coupon on the telly on a Friday night for 30 minutes channels? That's the question. Yeah, because the tele companies are going, oh no, is he not a wee bit older? And <laughs> he's not an oil painting really, is he? And I say, look, Put McClure on, stop your nonsense, learn from your mistakes and get some credibility back in the creative side. Programming. Colin McMillan's watching Dinky Do, you're watching Scotty McClure. It's a Sunday night just for you. It's 9.50, pal, says Thomas Hamilton. Nothing gets past you, Tom. There we are. Good night, Scotty. You could be the new hitman in her. You'd be fantastic as the presenter on Question Time, Scotty, says Steve Burrows. Ha-ha, brilliant, says PJ. Hi, big man. Would you like to see Scotty McClure presenting Question Time on a Thursday night? Hello, good evening uh, from London. Tonight our guests are the Prime Minister, the Leader of the Opposition, 
the first minister of Scotland, and one or two lesser mortals. Can I have the first question from the gentleman in the audience? Yes, you there, sir, in the thousand. Uh, excellent. We're back. We're back. We lost you for a second there. Um, Ricky Fulton. So there we are. I knew Ricky very, very well. And you know what I loved? Um, one of the many things I loved about Ricky and Jack Mulroy, they were big Scotty McClue fans. And they told me to my face, Jack got hold of me and said, Scotty, Mary and I never miss your show, son. And see when you finish, we put it off. Uh, you're being, God bless, I was accused of being too religious. Do you think political correctness is going crazy? You can never, ever, ever be too religious. And you can never, ever, ever have too much knowledge. Religion has never, ever, ever caused a problem in the world. Okay? What causes the problem is a lack of knowledge and understanding of religion, but never religion itself. If you've just joined us, a very warm welcome. Share, guys, Scotty McClue. We're live on the big one, Facebook Live, saying dinky do to every single one of you. Also, get on to the Scotty McClue YouTube channel. There's 500 videos for your edification and delight. Check a 500. Jim McKean's watching, dinky do. 100, 100 hearts, says Sharice Allison. Man, fantastic stuff. Have you learned how to work your phone yet? Are you sharing and sharing and sharing? So there we are. Derek Jimmy Walker, Dinky Doo. Lovely to have you with us. You're watching Scotty McClue and we're live in vision on Facebook Live, one of the world's top broadcast platforms. I've no religion, says Sharice. Well, you say that. But you might be a pagan, or you might be a universalist, or you might have been brought up as a Catholic, a universalist, or you may have been brought up in the Church of Scotland, or you may have been brought up as a Mormon, or a Buddhist, or a Hindu, fantastic, or Islam, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Um, so there you go. Give over, Scotty. There's always been the radical side of religion. Yes, but that's not true religion. Christ was not a radical. He was a socialist. And he was a Jew who said he had founded a new religion. That didn't go down well with the Romans because the Romans brooked no opposition. And in Judea, it was a difficult posting. So they gave it to a wee Scotsman called Pontius Pilate from Fort and Gaul in Perthshire. And that, the rest is history. We don't watch on TV, that's what's missing. No more repeats, a live show. Yes, I'd pop up live on a Friday night on BBC One or BBC Two or ITV, ITV One, ITV, ITV Two. So there we go. Channel Four, Channel Five, Scotty McClue live, just for you. And it would work a Treat. Whoever discovers Scotty McClure on national television has discovered the next big thing in broadcasting. Trust me. You should give the Queen a break at Christmas and do the Queen's speech for her, says Neil O'Gorley. So there you are. I'm a Jew, says Sharice. Well, there you are, Sharice. So you do have a religion. Excellent stuff. So there we are. Now, are you a Jew or a Jewess? Very interesting. Does that term exist, guys? Uh, watching the football, says Derek Jimmy Walker. So will the rest of the world, but they will still get an audience, even although McClue's live on Facebook Live. We'd love to interview you sometime in the radio, Scotty. Would that be okay, says Tony Mack? Of course it would be, Tony. One of the best interviews you'll get is if you go on, shout out to Queen Bee Cleaning, says Cam's Needham. Dinner the Doug, moan the hips. Excellent, Dino the Doug, Mon the Hearts, the Jambos as well. You've got to balance the program. We have a balanced program here. Guys, quick wipe down. Won't be a second. Don't dash off. Oh, oh, the heat in here is absolutely 
astounding. Hope you don't mind, I've got the tie a wee bit loose tonight. Uh, so there we are. So that's what we're talking about, guys, live shows. Have you ever considered going on Celebrity Big Brother? I got into the final. I went down to the Arabs, um, the Emirates, sorry, the Emirates Stadium, where Arsenal play. So there you are. When I was saying Arabs, I was thinking of Emirates and I was thinking of the Arsenal ground. And I went down and I got into the final, but they didn't want to take me because I'd worked in television and they were a little bit anxious that I might suss some of the games. But I would never, ever, ever have let on. It would be fantastic. Celebrity Big Brother, Scotty McClure. I can uh, cause a fight in an empty house. So in a Big Brother house, we should be able to do some serious stuff. But there we are. Scotty, there's no atheists on a failing aircraft. Uh-huh, 9.55, pal. Have a good week. Thanks, Scotty, says Cavs need him. And um, we are the people, says Sharice. So she must be a Rangers supporter. Um, Sharice, yes, excellent. Lots of funny faces on there. Glasgow, as you know, has two great football teams. So there we are. You've got the Rangers and the uh, Rangers reserves. Got them as well. Uh, right, right then, big brother. Yes, Big brother, so there you are, big sister. So there, I'm happy to be Christian, but respect other people's beliefs too. That's what it's all about, says Tony Mac. Absolutely. I asked the question last week, what religion is the Pope? Can you answer that, Tony Mac? Right, so that's what we're doing now, guys. The Scotty McClure YouTube channel, Scotty McClure Facebook pages, uh, Scotty McClure Twitter, at Scotty McClure. If you've got a Twitter account, follow us. Uh, she's a Seth Co supporter, says Antoine Machol. Let us speak. Uh, there we are. Simply the best, says Derek. Jimmy Walker. Thank you, Derek. Yes, says Sharice. Will soon be time to say goodnight to the nation. I'm a hun, says Sharice. I know you are, darling. There we are. My wife, um, I call her hun. All right. It's not because I love her. She's actually from Germany originally. So there we go. Uh, good night, pal. Have a good week. Uh, says Thomas Hamilton, and you too, Thomas. Only joking about that, by the way. And uh, she says a couple of lovely, funny faces. Dinky do to you, Sharice. Now, uh, what else have we got? I'll tell you the story about. No, I'll maybe tell you that at another time. I think you would like that one. So there we are. Got lots and lots of stories, but we do have to dash. I think the Pope is Christian, says Tony Mac. Tony Mac, you have answered 100% correctly. The fact that he is Catholic is his denomination. Yes, hun hun, Ken Ken. Ken Ken, my dear. Now, what's the time? <coughs> I think it's time. Scotty McClure, with me here. It is. I'll have to go. I'm broadcasting from the secret bunker. In two weeks' time, we'll be on broadcasting live from uh, McClure Towers, of course, from the studio. And uh, I'm now going to sing you the song. Are you ready? Join in. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. Of waiters in, au revoir, and a cheery o. There we are. Dinky do, au revoir, guys. Scotty McClure has left the building. Are we ending with a song? That was it, John P. Hazelton. From me, Scotty McClure, to every single one of you, have a fabulous week. Stay fabulous. Look after yourselves. And God willing, weather permitting, we'll join up with each other at the same time next week. Nine o'clock sharp, live on Facebook Live. Spread the what? From me, Scotty McClure, Dinky Doo.